Hey everybody, welcome back to another editing tutorial. And today I wanted to show you guys how I made this cool mask transition in our baseball headshot today social video. So I've got it pulled up here um, and we'll go ahead and jump into Final Cut Pro so that way you guys can see my screen, see what I'm working on and I can show you exactly how I did in detail uh, make this mask happen. So for those of you who don't know what a mask is, a mask is basically, imagine like an imaginary, imaginary set of control points. And within those control points, you can manipulate that enclosed area. It can be a square, it can be a rectangle, it can be, you know, a, a human figure. It can be literally whatever you want it to be, as long as it can work within the mask effect. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. But basically, you can, overlap things, you can change sections of things, you can make them fit in unison, make it look really clean, and today we're gonna go over that transition like I mentioned. So we'll go ahead and jump into Final Cut Pro and get started. We've got it pulled up, and I've already got it set up to where I want it to, where I wanna start editing. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna find where we want the transition to happen. And so here, as you can see, I've cut this back end of Cash's clip, and I'm gonna take the mask effect, drag and drop it on there. We're gonna go up to original, select linear. Those are just specific things for the mask, for the effect to work properly in the way that I want it to. We're gonna go up and we're gonna set keyframes on our position and control points. Uh, so if you look up here in the top right, kinda, you'll see that with my mouse, it kinda looks like a little pen. I'm making these little points and there I just closed my mask. So that is the mask for now. And what we're gonna do is everything that is inside of this, this you know, marked off, little boxed off, control pointed area, that is gonna be what is affected in the clip. And if you see here, the way that masks work is that whenever you want a transition to occur, you're gonna make this mask try to look really, really clean if that's the look that you're going for. So in this case, what I'm going for is a clean swipe of Cash's hand as he, as he uh, recreates throwing a pitch. And we're gonna take the edge of his hand and that's gonna be a transition and it's gonna look like he's just kinda wiping, wiping the next clip into the screen. So basically, again, with our keyframes, with our control points, we're gonna take those, we're gonna drag it to the next frame. And the part that takes so much time with editing is that you have to go frame by frame with these things. There are plugins, which are third-party apps that can help you edit quicker. But for the most part, a lot of stuff is gonna be done manually. And like this right here, to keep it in line with the edge of his hand. You gotta go frame by frame, and if there's 24 frames in a second, then it's gonna take a little while, depending on how long the, the clip is, the little section is that you need this mask to happen. So there, the next frame, we take that and we drag it again. And at this point, his hand's getting kind of blurred because of the motion blur between the shutter, clip, the shutter and the clip. Um, so we're just gonna try to make our best guess as to what his hand shape is right there. You can see the rough outline at the top. And so we'll take that. We'll straighten out those control points. We'll pull that all the way back to the right. That one, that one. And again, everything inside of this enclosed red line, that is gonna be the next clip as it comes through. So there, his hand is completely out of view. That's the last frame in the mask. We're gonna take that. And here, look, you can see I clicked on composite and you can see exactly what I mean, how this, everything enclosed in the red area is the next clip. It looks kind of trippy if you've never seen it before, but uh, that's just a really good example of what it looks like. And see, see I've got that last point and how I can basically drag between the clips. Obviously I don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna take that back to the bottom. And if we go frame by frame, you can see how the red lines change. Oh, we gotta fix that right there. 
you can see how those lines change thanks to our keyframes and our control points. Uh, again, this is a very tedious thing. It can, you know, a lot of a lot of times, whenever we're editing, a two-second clip can take up to two hours to edit. Um, what we're gonna do now is take this little feather effect, set a keyframe at 10, and the fall off at uh, 100. What that means is it's just gonna help blend our blend the actual break and clips together really well. So it's gonna look a little bit more natural, um, better than just a sharp mask. Uh, something feathered is gonna have, it's gonna kind of look like a dissolve between the clips. I don't know if you could see that happen right there on the bottom right, but it, it just gives it a softer look and it looks a lot better. And so as you can see, we go frame by frame. It looks like Cash's hand is gonna wipe, uh, wipe JT into the next clip. So next clip, Cash's hand pulls it in and it's no more Cash, just JT. Um, so we'll go through, make sure that looks good. And we want JT to appear right as he's kind of tossing this ball up. We don't want to add that cross dissolve because it'll make it look a little funky. So right there doesn't look too bad right there that's it right there as he's tossing this ball up we're gonna now go over to that part where we want it to slow down and we want that cool slow motion effect where JT is tossing this ball and pointing it at the camera so let's go full screen that's what our effect looks like in real time in the video obviously we're gonna go back to it we're going to um, we've got some music added and then I think the last thing that we just need to do is add a sound effect. So that way it's not just a blank like white. Um, by adding a sound effect, it's gonna have a little small whoosh just to kind of emphasize the movement. Whoosh, like, excuse me. It sounds kind of silly, but trust me, it makes a big difference. Um, and yeah, so now let's go ahead and look at the final product and uh, let me guys, let, let me know what you guys think there he is <laughs> turn your body slightly at an angle this way turn your body over in this direction Ha, ha, ha.